After the shenanigans, there's a bit of an atmosphere. I think it's time for a quiet rebellion. Oh, nice. That yeah. sounds good. Inigo Weston and Alex Miles, their company is Quiet Rebellion. Their mission statement is work socks that bring colour to your soul. OK, guys, the pitch yours. Frustrated city workers Alex and Inigo are hoping they've struck gold with a novel idea for men's office wear. Alex and I are two great mates who met studying history at university and now work in jobs in London where we have to wear suits, plain shirts, black shoes and boring clothes to work. One evening, we sat in the pub having a bit of a grumble about the conformity of the corporate world. We concluded that it was absolutely 100% epitomised by those plain, boring, dull work socks we had to drag over our feet every morning before work. So now we have a sock company that produces fantastically soft combed cotton socks that appear professional and smart to the outside world, but on the, on the inside of the cuff and on the sole of the foot, you have patterns which are fun, colourful, and we think a little bit rebellious. Uh, each design celebrates a famous historical uh, figure. Uh, like us, they're someone who has rebelled against conformity, albeit they've done it in a slightly uh, more grand manner. Our socks come with a postcard which celebrates the rebel. There's a beautiful sketch on the front, and on the back, we put a historically accurate description written by yours truly, finally putting our degree to some use. <laughs> we would like to package the socks with the postcards in this beautifully handcrafted fashion. It then comes stamped with a wax seal, personalised by us, and delivered to your doorstep. That is a, a fantastic pitch uh, and, a, and a cracking socks. You are literally the poshest men I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. Uh, I'm actually a big fan of the, uh, the, the sock and I know Lee is as well. Yeah, I have to say I'm quite a quiet kind of person. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and, and I didn't know actually today, but I, I wear very yeah. uh, rebellious and I, I actually... I wear boring socks. Like socks like this. Wow. Because I actually do shop online, and last Christmas, every single yeah. friend of mine, including Martin, uh, got a big box of socks. And I just want to say, if, if anybody, that is an absolutely fantastic idea. They, they, they were great presents. They were, everybody loved them. I and mean, I do believe I will now buy some of them. Mm. I, don't I, I don't know if they're rebellious enough. Um, yeah. What mm. about crutchless underpants? Or, you know, what, 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 are, the plans, what are the plans no, for the I, future? Boys, I can, I can only apologise to my uh, fellow northerner. <laughs> 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 they, this, this, They're public this school boys. This, this is interesting. This might actually interest you. Is the, the, the next step for the women's wear, which we'll move into once the rebellion picks up, will be slightly naughty uh, tights. They'll have fun patterns at the top here and uh, fun bits on the sole of the foot. So, yeah, that, we'll be moving in a sort of more naughty direction. But to start with, we need to keep it quite quiet. Alex and Inigo are handling the pit well, but whether they're successful or not will rest on the deal they've prepared for the backers. OK, before we uh, have any other questions, and I can see you guys trying to catch the eyes of the brokers before they're <laughs> in the pit, and I'll have none of it, Julia and David. Uh, right, <laughs> let's find out what you are offering to the pits. So we're offering rewards. Rewards! Oh. <laughs> we David looks like he's about to cry. We defend that. We Hold, defend that. Oh, we defend it in a second. How much? How much money would you like to raise today? Uh, six hundred pounds. Six hundred pounds. It's a modest target for Alex and Inigo, who want to use rewards as a way of getting to know investors before they offer any equity. For fifty pounds, backers will receive a year's supply of socks, and for three hundred pounds, they'll get the chance to help design a new line for the range. But the offer of rewards could have put a dent in Alex and Inigo's chances. You know, I'm so glad I did actually catch the eye I saw of the you. trader I saw you. To, say, to say all in. Uh, I didn't even see the figures you know, or anything you know, at that stage. So That's how confident they were. I'm, so, I'm really, really gutted. I don't know if I should oh, say this, but I do... bloody hell, boys. I'm so bloody disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're a bit bloody disappointed ourselves off your reaction. Oh, man. <laughs> Nathan. Yeah, um, obviously, you know, you've put a little bit of investment, but I can see you boys are probably from the city, and you probably earn about probably 500 oh, grand no, a year. That's oh, it's true. I'm a true rebel. I'm a true rebel. No, it's not. Money's money. Money's money. I'm a true rebel without a cause. Yeah. Really, truly. Without a cause. Okay, my cause. Let them, let them answer the question, and, Nathan. Sorry. 
So I, I, I think that's a very fair point. Nope, that's fine. Unfortunately, we're not on 500k. Uh, I, I guess if we really, if we really wanted, we could probably find the 600 pounds. But it's mainly actually just to get the confidence and people investing in us yeah. Yeah. and start doing that, building a business relationship, and then we'd like to go on and move into equity with someone at a later date. Alex and Inigo are open to the idea of trading equity in the future, but only if they receive backing today from the right person. And not everyone is impressed by their tactics. I think you've really missed a trick. You could have come in here, I reckon, asking for 40, 50 grand. I would have lumped in. David would have lumped in. Got you've really, you could have launched big. And if you don't particularly like your jobs in the city, Good with night. about a year, you could have packed them up. Mm. OK, well, uh, these rights honourable gentlemen did a cracking pitch. Uh, a lovely product. Let's open trading. <laughs> It's another mad scramble to the brokers. Right, please, thank you. Five. Let's, let's and five. once again, Aussie businessman David is up to his old tricks. That's me at the top. Yes. 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 We'll chat. Yes. But with only six hundred pounds investment up for grabs. Is it too late? It's too late. So quickly. Did you get in on that? Quiet Rebellion hit 100% after just 90 seconds of trading. I always buy socks for Christmas. I get him socks for Christmas and everybody that I know. And then I find out it's rewards and then I queue up and then I can't get to the broker on time. So I've come out of this with absolutely nothing. And for the second time tonight, some keen investors have missed out on a deal. My motto this year was to have a more colourful life. I really wanted the socks, didn't get them. Um, so what can I do? Oh, that's trading close, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. All right, let's have a little look at the tracker. Easy peasy. There we go. You're absolutely right. He got there and Mr. Strang over there, David, took half of it. He took the 300 quidder. David, was that for the socks or for the chat later? Yeah. Uh, just the socks. No, no, I, 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 just to show my commitment to you guys, we'll meet up after. Yep, thank yeah. you. Well done, Quiet Rebellion. Great pitch. 